Hansen, welcome to the Patty Morning Show. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Patty Panthers. You may now be seated. Here is today's encore schedule. I hope you have a great day today. Try your best. Now let's go to Mr. Luciotti to see what he has for us today. Boys and girls, welcome to your Wednesday. I'm so glad you are here. I'm so glad you are tuning in. Your teachers are ready for you. Let's make this a great day. How many of you guys, t-shirt check right now, t-shirt check. Take a look down. Are you wearing your t-shirt? I hope so. If you are, that's part of your responsibility and I'm proud of you. If you're not, do some laundry and get it on. We have our four teachers here ready for their element challenge because we've been bringing element challenges to you each and every week now for several weeks and we're ready for a new one so first of all representing fire we have mr harrington what what representing water we have mrs bachos yeah there you go give him some pl flow representing earth we have miss turner bell that yellow and green clash <laughs> uh, making tricks on my eyes. And representing air, we have Ms. Whitelaw. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for playing along. Here we go. Are you all ready? Yes. You, you look nervous. You look a little scared, but here we go. All right, boys and girls. So I have paired up Mr. Harrington and Ms. Bacho. So that means fire and water are teaming up together. They could each win 10 points. And I, I paired up Miss Whitelaw and Miss Turner Bell, so air and earth can also each worth win 10 points. Here's the game, boys and girls. I am giving each team a category. They each have a two of the, one person on each team has a list of key words in front of them right now. The other two people on their team don't know what those key words are. So you have your Clue givers and you have your guessers. The clue givers have to get the guesser to identify as many keywords as they can without using any gestures or using the keyword themselves. And we're going to do that once with fire and water, and we're going to do that once with air and earth. Whichever team guesses the most number of keywords is going to be the winner. So, Mr. Harrington, Miss Whitelaw, you guys are both the clue givers, okay? Ms. Bachos, Ms. Turner Bell, you guys are the guessers. We're going to start with Ms. Whitelaw and Ms. Turner Bell. So air and earth. Okay, Ms. Whitelaw and Ms. Turner Bell. Your category is things you see while driving. Oh gosh. <laughs> things you see while driving, okay? So Ms. Turner Bell, Ms. Whitelaw is going to try to get you to guess things you see while driving using clues only. Miss Whitelaw, are you ready? I hope so, you, yes, yes. <laughs> you have 45 seconds and your time begins right now. Okay, red, green, yellow. Yes, okay. <laughs> yep, she said um, that someone on the side of the road um, with their thumb in the air. Yes. <laughs> um, it's not a fancy place to stay the night. Um, it's more expensive, yes. <laughs> Um, you would go through this if you're using Easy Pass on the highway. Uh, uh, kind of. Easy Pass lanes. Um. <laughs> Where you would have to give money. I guess that would be. Four lanes. Uh. <laughs> we'll keep going. Okay. 
uh, the white lines going across the street tells you um, where you can- Time, that is time. <laughs> Miss Turner Bell, you are from the state that is the- Toll like, <laughs> road. <laughs> Jersey, toll booths. Toll roads. <laughs> All right, nice job. Earth and air, you got three of those words right. Mr. Harrington, Miss Batchers, and I did forget to mention, so I am sorry, you can skip. Okay, if there's one you're stuck on, you can skip. Um, fire and water, all you have to do is get four of these clues or four of these keywords correct to take the win. Are you ready? You got four, Miss White Law, did I miss one? Yeah, we got traffic light, hitchhiker, motel, and crosswalk. Okay, okay, I didn't hear crosswalk. I got you. All right, thank you for clarifying. The host can be wrong sometimes, it's okay. <laughs> Fire and water, you now have to get five correct, okay, to take this win. 45 seconds, here's your category. Things associated with texting. Associated with texting. Mr. Harrington, Ms. Batchos, are you ready? Yes. Your 45 seconds begin right now. Smiling face, crying face. Emojis. Um, I found your message very, very funny, so I want to send this to you Hello. instead. Um, I'm spelling. I'm frustrated because it keeps changing it. Autocorrect. Um, I'm too lazy to send a message myself, so I speak into my phone. Voice text. Voice to text. Everyone wanted to turn their classroom into a cartoon. Oh my God. These things. Emojis. Yes. Um, I either double tap or hit the thumbs up. Hit the butt. Uh, oh, the, um, I pass. Um, instead of sending sentences or full pictures, uh, these are like funny pictures in motion. Memes? Jeff. Yes. There you go. You guys are way past time and you already won. I just wanted to see how well you kept doing. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Fire and water. I know fire's taken at least three of these element challenges. Boys and girls, you got to do something about that. You got to look to your teachers and say, we need you too. We need you to win some element challenges to help us out. But nicely done. I know water needed those points too. So 10 points for each fire and water. Hey, boys and girls, it's all about having fun. It's all about working hard to try to earn those points because winning is fun, right? But then we also know how to lose the right way. So nice job, Ms. Whitelaw and Ms. Turner Bell. Job well done. Thank you all for having some fun with us. Everybody out there, have a good day. And don't forget, together we are Patty, Patty Strong. Strong.